I always say countries are not made by, by the place, by the scenes, by the issues. It's by my people. My name is Gamaliel Rodriguez. I'm from Puerto Rico, and I'm a painter. My name is Isela Colón, and I'm originally from Puerto Rico, now based in Los Angeles, and I'm a sculptor that specializes in what I call organic minimalism. We've gravitated to primal singular forms, the pyramids of Egypt, Stonehenge, and even our own native Puerto Rico, native Taino ceremonial stones have that sense of ancient knowledge that is transferred through an object. And so these monoliths look to incarnate that sense of transcendence to the other world. Structural color is found in nature. It's what happens when, for example, you look at a seashell or a scarab beetle and you see the light refracting onto the surface of the work where you see how galaxies swirl and how the whole universe revolves through the laws of physics like gravity, energy, and time. And those forces are contained inside the monolith. In this particular painting, I use acrylic on canvas and gold leaf also. The idea of gold leaf is, a, is also connection with the religions and also symbolism of gold in, in history. So I heard about this story about the San Anton. This is the most advanced vessel from the colonial Navy. Basically, they bring goods to the island. And one of the goods was were slave. In one of those voyages, it got this intensive wreck that they still doesn't know it's basically it was a hurricane, storm, or or maybe a revolution inside the ship. So the depiction that I did with that painting, which is acrylic on canvas, is more like a historical stamp. All of my practice entails a process of transforming, you know, my own personal identity is transformed, and the monoliths themselves represent transforming the negative into a positive. So, for example, violence transformed into strength and resilience, which is kind of part and parcel of the Puerto Rican experience. Mm -hmm.